25th. Welcome to Trade Station. I'm Jim Flax. Thanks for joining the Trade Station Trading App Store Showcase. This the trading apps they list on our Trading App Store. Today we feature Andrew Horowitz and Trigger Charts Commander Series. The following presentation is for educational purposes only. All symbols and trading ideas discussed are by the instructor are for demonstration purposes only and not recommendations. Option trading involves a high degree of risk and is not suitable for all traders. You can find additional disclosures on the TradeStation websites. We invite you to join our Option Stars 2019 conference. This event will be held October 3rd through the 5th in Newport Beach, California. Option Stars is a great way to take your option trading to the next level. There will be live trading, skill building sessions, and plenty of practical trading techniques to take away and use long after the event. A link is available in the chat panel, so check it out and reserve your seat. Today we feature Trigger Charts, the Commander Series, with Andrew Horowitz. He's the founder of TriggerCharts.com, and he's been a, a part of the trading app store for many years and is a big supporter of TradeStation. The Commander Series is the highest rated among indicators and trading apps on the trading app store. So let's join Andrew and learn more. Andrew? Hey, thanks, James. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome today. We have a good amount of information that we're going to talk about today. And I want to make sure that everybody uh, has the opportunity to get questions in, et cetera. So we're going to make sure the chat is open on the bottom, but we're going to go very quickly through a lot of this. And I want to make sure that, like I said, we cover a lot of territory. So um, everybody can see this, my screen. Everybody can uh, hear me okay. I'm going to flip, flip through the next page. Quick uh, disclosure document here. Of course, information is for educational purposes only, et cetera, but uh, something you need to know about. Um, let's kind of go through uh, some of the basic things that I think is probably important to understand. And, um, you know, basically in the trigger, trigger charts is just like any of the other trading apps that you have in the trading app store where you just simply, you can get a trial for many of them. You can just download it. You can check it out. We have several of them, many uh, different ones in there. But today we're going to focus on the trigger charts commander series because I think it's really one that is, has really been embraced by the trade station community because of, of its overall simplicity and ability to really provide some excellent signals and keep you out of trouble. And there's a good reason for that. And the reason is that we have programmed this and spent extensive amount of time really putting together how a trader trades, what they need to look for, and utilizing what we say is kind of lines in the sand and footprints with regard to where institutions and where big traders are playing the market. In, the area of the institutional investor, we really are focusing in on where is the highest volume at any given price. And we have a calculation that brings in all the information, the statistics. And what happens is that it basically just draws a line on the chart and shows you where that is. And if price starts approaching that line, well, there's some important signals that come from there. It's not as simplistic as that. There's a lot of coding. And, and theory that goes behind all this, but we're going to talk about that. And as James had mentioned, yes, it is the number one highest rated of all apps in the trading app store, number one highest rated of all indicators, and we got 117 reviews and a five-star rating. So um, I'll mention to you that you can, in fact, get a trial of any of the uh, trigger charts indicators, but also the commander series. There's a quick link in the chat right there. But let's continue on here and talk about what we're going to talk about, okay? because we only have a few minutes. We're going to talk about an introduction and background of Altimeter, uh, which is basically a trading blueprint of what you can see actually on a chart in nice color, easy to understand, very simple in a red, blue, and green. Establishing levels in the areas of targets and entries and exits. And we have uh, also a more refined and a more detailed view of this. It's a, what's called a market profile based on the information that we're utilizing and an algorithm that we developed and that's called radar. And radar is basically looking at a few different things, but it looks at where these, uh, basically where the, the granular blueprint of where there is a significant amount of market activity and based on volume that comes through. So that's really important. Autopilot, well, that's one step beyond. And what that does is it provides you for very simple entry, exit, stop, and profit zones 
and very easily paints it on the bar of a chart. And that's really cool because when I built this, I was building it for myself. And the whole idea was I needed something simple because there's a lot of stuff going on during the day, right? Not only are you maybe trading, but maybe you're doing some work on some other topics. Maybe you have to deal with kids or family and phone calls and whatever you're doing throughout the day. But I needed something that was able to provide me a very easy view of what was happening in the market and what was happening with stocks and futures. And I built this for myself. And then we said, you know what, this is something we really think the community could really embrace and it's actually worked out pretty well. One of the things we also have is a multi time frame radar screen when I think we're the only ones that have ever built this for the trading app store where you can put a symbol on one line and you can get 30, 60, 90, 120 weekly daily results. So you understand the trend and what's happening all on one line. Really cool. And I'll show that to you in a second. Uh, it does a projection of a directional bias, whether it's long or whether it's short on a short time frame or a long time frame. And it gives you basically actionable ideas across the multiple time frames. And when you utilize multiple time frames, what it gives you is confidence. Higher confidence of uh, trading where you see that the long term trend is in one direction and your short term trend is either moving in an opposite direction or a contrary or contra trade style or possibly building on the trend and an opportunity to get in along with that gives you again higher confidence with your trades so again ideas and setups and all that are are in there so to give you a quick uh two minutes on this and we'll get into what it actually looks like but basically this is all about the idea of auction market theory and where this was popularized was the idea that if we could understand better where volume is trading for a particular price of a stock or a future or forex or whatever it is we could find where the lines of support and resistance are and in essence we're looking at the idea of supply and demand when there's agreed upon price and where we find there's a level that there's agreed upon, you're probably not going to see a lot of movement. And what happens is we get a consolidation of price across time, usually a horizontal move over a long period of time, whether it's 30 minutes or 240 or daily, we see that price doesn't move a lot. What we're really looking for here is the opportunities where there's a breakout or a breakdown. And when that happens, we see that there is a market imbalance. And what happens there is you see a vertical move quickly through time through what we call holes or fast zones. And the idea that low prices are really encouraging bidding, whereas people will be looking to buy on the low and sell on the high, is really what's happening here because our indicators reveal the participation in the marketplace. And that's, again, why we built this. So again, this is all based on this whole idea of market profile. And when we look at the different types of markets that are out there, there's really only two. There's really two. It's either an up or down market that's moving quickly through time or an up or down market that is consolidating. Consolidations are obviously more thin and don't have a big range on the upside or downside and usually move across a range. Or trending is where we see it breaking up or down very quickly. And often you've time you've seen where a market or a stock is breaking down, it moves much more quickly than it had in the previous trend. So we're having a visual representation of the auction market theory, which is a very, it's a very, um, uh, I would say advanced theory to understand, but done very easily in a couple of charts. You'll see it again. So it really picks up where the smart money is on that. So you could use this for crypto cryptocurrencies. We saw Bitcoin dropping very significantly recently. We see that we could use this with futures or uh, stocks, ETFs, whatever you want. There really is no limit as long as we have information on price and or volume. All the videos that we uh, do on a weekly basis, by the way, we have a Friday morning pre-market rundown. You can get that information over at triggercharts.com. That's uh, www.triggercharts. I'll type this in real quick. Dot com. Can't type as I talk. There's an extra G missing here. There you go. It's in the chat. Um, you go over there. There's a bunch of instructional videos as well as uh, you can find out how to get involved in the free uh, Friday morning pre-market rundown at 9 a.m. So you can use commodity futures and all that. So there's all these things that you could use. Okay. I'm moving quickly, like I said, because there's only a limited amount of time. And I want to make sure that you all have what you need here. So, um, the altimeter kind of looks like this. Basically, there's these lines on a chart, 
And what we do is we look for lower and higher probability opportunities. When they're very wide, we see that there's a range that we have to be careful of, that we may see the opportunity for a very quick move over time. And when they're thin, when these three lines, the red, the cyan, and the, the green, what we see is that that's probably something that we're going to see that there will be a breakout from that, and we have to look at the directional bias moving from there. Again, providing a blueprint. And when you see this on the actual chart, we're going to show this in TradeStation version 10 in a second. But it does give you the idea of where the stop targets and, and levels that you can really get into, when to trade, when not to trade, when to stay away from a short, when to stay away from a long. Um, it gives you the actual exact levels where there's an entry point. And when you use it in conjunction with our radar, which is all part of the commander series, there's several different indicators wrapped up into one package. It gives you this opportunity to have the greatest risk and reward scenarios if you study the charts and understand it. Essentially what's happening here and when you look at this is that we have this opportunity to look for these zones. See right here we're seeing these three different lines. This is what the altimeter looks like on a chart. A, a plain chart where we have candles and you can see where they start to move above a certain range, they really ramp up high or they have support on a particular line. So we have this defined level of support, resistance, and breakout. Very easy. Three lines, green, cyan, and red. Kind of very easy to visualize what's happening here. When we have wider altimeters, these are called altimeters. That's the indicator name. When we have wider altimeters, we know there's going to be an increased volatility potential. When we see that price is trading inside of, uh, of these bars uh, in, the, in the support and resistance range, we know that we want to stay away from that trade because it's going to be bouncy. But when you also look at some of these, and I'll, and I'll show you this very graphically in a moment, but when you, when you look at these and we see that there is a level that is supported, continually supported, or that you, know, you go down and kind of move back up, we know that the directional bias is that when they're not letting this thing collapse, let's say, or the opportunity to move ahead is very high. When we see that there is a drop-off zone, again, there's just a picture here, but a drop-off zone where there's nothing below and nothing to the left, what we know about that is that there is the opportunity for a fast zone. Radar, and I'm gonna go quickly, is a refinement. It's a granular look at the same thing, but looking at it in a much more detailed manner. It gives us an opportunity to see something. For example, when you're looking at the chart down here, what we have is a little B. Basically, it's a little, well, we call it a, a capital B, but really all of the volume is situated around the bottom. And any movement through this zone where there's a lack of volume ends up being a fast zone. Look how quickly this moves down. We see this, this, this incredible fall off of the top. Why'd that happen? There was no interest look, looking left. There was nobody really historically in this range that was accumulating positions. Therefore, when it moved down, the weak holders just moved out and there was nowhere for it to go. And then we developed a yellow line inside of here, which is basically a high volume node. And we see that it kind of really consolidated around that range for a while, and then it started to pick back up. And if it gets above this level again, I would say that it's probably opportunity to just move higher. So when you have a very easy to look at one, two, three colored chart with the opportunity to put on something like radar, which you can look at to get a refinement, and then add the autopilot, which I'll show you in a second, there's really a lot that can uh, be gleaned from a chart. But it basically shows you these breakout patterns capital B, capital P, or a small b in the radar. Yeah, we only have a small amount of time here, so I'm kind of moving quickly through this. This is the radar again, where we have uh, these various levels. Blue area indicates a lack of support or potential resistance. Um, we have fast moving zones within the blue because there's really not a lot of significant amount of trading that's gone on there. Weak holders may have picked up in those ranges. Institutions really aren't buying and holding the line, and you get these gappy zones. See this? There's a whole area of gap in here. You have in this one a very, this is called a normal, a normal market profile and basically it's big fat in the middle and it has a tail on the top and a tail on the bottom. You see a lot of activity there and if you move away from the high volume node, again, the high volume node is very simple to look at. It's basically this yellow line, any of these, there may be more than one sometimes because you have uh, a, a, a level that is pretty hot in, in the entire market profile. Oftentimes, it's just one in a normal profile, but when you get like a big B, you get two, you get two. When you have a P, you only get one at the top. See, there's a big P, a capital P. You can see that. Uh, I'll draw that for you to make sure you see that. This is a P. 
right? Right there. And you have a B right here, a lot of mess. And this is a normalized chart that just goes like this. A little Snoopy look, I guess it is right there. So what we have here is a really easy way to understand what's happening on charts. And really, it looks like a mess right now because I just put this picture up here with a lot of words. When you see it on the chart, you could take off any of the particular indicators and put them back on. But once you really get the hang of this, watch a couple of videos, read the instructional manual. Very easy to understand. It really is. Catch on very quickly here. But what happens is when we have autopilot, which we call a dynamic trading indicator and basically a strategy, a strategy that is uh, incorporates with a human element. We don't write this in an actual strategy because we believe that there needs to be a human element involved in all this. But we call this a smart indicator. And basically because it has the opportunity to take the, the components of the altimeter and the radar and put it into a quick package to give you a coloration and a signal on a chart. And it looks at the recent history to predict the future trends. So what we want to do here is look for things like stop loss protection, directional bias. We want to look at profits and profit zones or, or profit targets involved in this. And again, it's very easy to use because I needed it to be easy to use for me. So we color coded this to make sure it was easy for me to just visualize on a chart what this is all about. And it uses all the algorithms from radar and altimeter to produce these potential entry and exit points on the chart. So this is what it looks like, very simple. Without the altimeter on, without the radar on, basically gives you a very easy to understand area of, hey, a yellow is a long or a short alert. You get in at that point, you move out on an orange, so you don't have a problem getting out maybe when there's a price change. So here, for example, this one right here, you got in somewhere about 193 on this particular chart, got out about 204. Here you got in right about 206, got you out a little bit lower, probably at 204. Then you got a short at about 204, got out about 196 and so on. Basically, what you have to look at here is that the buy signal is green, a short signal is red, yellow is an entry alert just to be aware of it, closing of that bar will turn the next color if it confirms and a confirmation turns either red or green. Orange is an exit alert, and stop losses are magenta, which you don't usually have unless something weird happens on the chart, because we've programmed this really to pretty much get you out pretty clean. So there's not a lot of loss factors in all this. So the other thing I'll mention here, and this is really cool, this is the autopilot multi time frame. And what this gives you, and I'm going to have a surprise announcement in a second about this. We have a new update coming that's really cool. Um, basically, what this does is you can put one symbol, one symbol inside of this, inside of any particular uh, uh, chart uh, uh, row. And you have here a 30-minute, a 60-minute, 240-minute, a daily, and a weekly. And you could program, program this to be anything you want it to be. 30 minute is the base. You can't go below 30 minutes on the radar screen, but you want 90 minutes here, 120 minutes. You want um, you know, a two day chart, a two week chart. You want a uh, 120 minute, whatever you want, you can put in there. And what happens is, and what's really cool is that you can see this, that on one line right here, on one line, there is basically all the information you need to know on every time frame. So you don't have to use multiple charts. What you could do is just basically look from right to left, always look from right to left, and you wanna see where the trend is. So for example, when we look at the area uh, on, who is this for? This is uh, USD JPY. So this is the uh, Japanese yen against the dollar Forex. And we see that it's three bars long on a weekly basis. There's nothing, it's consolidating inside of a daily. There is consolidation inside of 240. It's consolidation, nothing happening inside of 60. But yet we have a short, that is 23 bars long on the 30 minute chart. Probably what's gonna happen is, what we're gonna see moving forward is, we're gonna have this turn into a short, this will probably turn to short if the trend continues, and eventually this is gonna turn. So this gives you a contrary trade indication to go against the grain. What you have on the bottom here, and what we have here is, well, on the USO, we have a short profit. In other words, you got out of the position either at break even potentially, or a nice profit. You got, a, uh, again, a short profit on the 240 minute, but we're starting to see a long position start to accumulate. 
So the short here turned into a long as we look from right to left. And that hopefully, if you start to think about nibbling in on the shorter time frames, if it turns out that the long, longer time frame is beneficial, what you'll have is an opportunity for a nice long conversion trade right there. So let's move along. Any questions you have, just put them in the chat, by the way. So we have trending consolidation patterns. We have, uh, we talked about that. We have looking left, we talked about that. Always look for holes, trading holes. And we wanna look for these fast zones. And we have the opportunity to look at multiple time frames. So this has the opportunity to uh, uh, generate ideas, whether you have a group of stocks that you wanna look at, to some, you know, use a screen of some sort. Um, and you have the opportunity to look at multiple time frames and review various time frames all at once. And when it comes to the multi time frame, the more confirmations you get, the, the greater the potential for confirmation and the confidence you have, the greater probability of success. If everything is lining up in the same direction, you have a very strong indication that that direction and the trend is going to hold until it changes, because they change. So when you start seeing that the yellow is popping up in the 30 and the 60, and you have a, a long, maybe five bars on a weekly, hey, that trend is probably continuing and it's a much a uh, more beneficial opportunity to get inside of that trade on the long side than it would be on the short side. So we got a question that came in real quickly is, what is the base of the indicators to turn buy, sell, entry, exit? Well, if it basically moves below the line on the altimeter, which I'll show you in a second, I'm gonna get to that on a real chart, uh, basically above the line, above resistance, depending on the time frame, you're into a zone that may be opportunistic. And then you have to look a little bit further. Well, is it a long consolidation that's breaking out of? What's happening when I look left? Is there a lot of congestion over the last several months or weeks or days or minutes, whatever you look at? But there's a couple other things. But basically, the, the basis of it is to go above the resistance that is programmed in by using a market profile where the line in the sand is from volume and price, and we use that to denote where there is that opportunity. And you'll see, it's not magic, but you'll see, for example, I, I saw today all over the place that on the 30 minute chart, there were stocks that were trying to get through, they peaked their head above a resistance point, but came right back down, all day. We see on a weekly chart, we'll see in a second, I think on the SPY, the INX, that we got down to the weekly support line on a uh, long-term uh, time frame that was long, and it stopped right on its support line and bounced right back up. So you'll see that in a second. So the, 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 um, we have a couple of things that are coming up. We have multi time frame screening that's coming. We have a screener and the, the, the announcement that I'll make today in a second is that um, there's a new alerting system on the multi time frame where basically you can have alerts. Right now it just alerts everything. You can have alerts that is on a particular stock on just let's say the 30 minute bar or the daily bar. That's it. Or you can have all your stocks alerting and let me know what's happening on all of those and it will pop up very easily for you. So it gives you the opportunity to uh, either program that to send to your cell phone if you're away from your desk or just as you're watching, you don't have to look at it, it will pop up and say, hey, you got an alert here. There's a long alert on ABC stock. Better look at this to see what's happening. So very cool, individually security based, time frame based. Uh, you can turn them on and turn them off. And we have some further optimization that we recently did with uh, TradeStation. That will be up in the next few days. So uh, the, the whole system's there now, but basically these new enhancements will be up shortly. So let's take a look at uh, what we have in terms of what this really looks like on a chart. So this is live and ticking right now. And we have, for example, the 30 minute time frame on the left, and we have a daily on the right. And what the entire indicator looks like when you put on all things, where we put on the radar, there's a radar, for example. And you'll notice that on the 30 minute chart here, we saw the radar had nothing. Let's take this back a little bit. I want to oh, this a little bit better. And I'm going to actually give you a little bit better look here. So we have multiple radars in here. And what you saw here was this cascade on a 30 minute chart that broke down on a signal. If you see that little yellow bar in here, right here, there was a signal to sell short. And what happens is that we noticed that from that, there was really nothing to the left. This whole region had nothing. So when you look back in time, you want to find these blank areas. And the acceleration happened very significantly till we got down to a new level. The yellow bar came up. Let me uh, give you this here. 
take this. The yellow bar showed up. And when the yellow bar showed up right here, it was a, hey, take your profit, move out. Then we had a consolidation point for a while inside a very wide range. There's only two listed here. The actual green is behind the cyan here. And then we had the opportunity to get long a few different times today and take some small profits on that 30 minute. Um, the same thing you see on the daily, whatever time frame you use, it really doesn't matter. You oftentimes use daily for training purposes, a lot more data available here. And you can see that there are all of these signals that come into play here. Let's kind of zoom in a little bit. Um, a lot of short signals that happened here and then moved out, moved up to resistance. This resistance line right here, 29, uh, 29.30, let's call it. You can hover over it and see what it is also. But 29.30 was this resistance, kept on popping into it, then would come down. When you finally got above it, still not a lot of opportunity here in this range because there's a lot of resistance at the top here, a lot of resistance going on. If we turn on our radar, you'll see that there's just a ton of resistance at this 29.86 level right here, where basically it closed today, popped up a little bit ahead of it, and then came down, went to the top, came down. These lines are drawn beforehand, before the price actually gets there. So that's what I was talking about, the magic of this. Because what we're seeing here is in real time, the opportunity to look at where is this possibly gonna have some support and resistance. So again, when I take this off and I, and, I, and I look at this, look at how great this looks. Look at the area right about th this line right here. You see all the times it touched that bottom, it couldn't get below it. And then it kind of tried to peak up, but we got more lines here, it really couldn't get above that line. And then when we saw that we did break down with not much to the left, as we saw on the 30 minute, but this is a daily, we saw this cascade down on the chart and then a move out right about here because it did ramp higher. So there wasn't, there was probably, uh, let's see, from 29.86 down to about, uh, let's see what that level is. 29.30 on the daily, that's where you got out. Could have possibly got 2,800 if you want to get out a little bit earlier, but um, there was a nice little, opportunity there. Um, if we look at, you know, various things like the SPY, which should look pretty much the same here, basically what you have here is that the uh, SPY is basically giving you, uh, you know, a lot of really weird readings right now. Uh, gold, for example, we can look at that, some beautiful opportunities right in this area. That was a beautiful long position entry right above 14, 1480, 1448, got you out at about 15, 16, a lot of consolidation going on, some short and long calls that you had some profit zones right here where the red was called, uh, some long positions. And here was a great uh, swing trade that you could have found on the 30 minute chart that had a short call at about the area of where we have 1532 and got you out down here at about 1511. So you can do this with stocks, same thing with GLD, which is the same kind of look of this get into some of these opportunities, then move out. Be careful of any gaps, of course. But this multi-time frame right here is showing us that on the ES, we're long weekly on four weeks long. We started to get some turnaround here today on the shorter time frames, long alert on the 240. So we know that the buy side is a little bit more healthy than the sell side. Uh, we've been seeing that, for example, silver. I mean, look at all these great signals that have come in here. All these wonderful signals right here, all green and then a move out. This one was kind of a, a dead zero gain right here. Got you out right at the point. Tried to get you here, faked you out a little bit and moved out. Um, but these were wider than we've seen before. You want to see these consolidation levels, these thinner levels right here. Um, so there's a question that came in. What is the basis of the, oh no, we have, can we back test the alerting system? Rephrase, using easy language tracing, can we back test the alerting system? Um, these are closed. You can't have the, these are proprietary. There is no ability to open up the code. Uh, through the trading app store. So the, I would just say if you, it's very simple to back test to just simply um, utilize chart data. You can right click and say show, show chart data, right? And uh, here's your data right here. And um, uh, that's not the spot. Uh, there's a view data somewhere here. I'm still new on, on 10. Maybe James can tell us in a minute, but you can look at the data on the chart. You can pull the data out. Uh, of the chart and basically what you do is you can just put it to Excel and, and just do a quick back test yourself. Understand though that this is not just simply automated. There is some human overlay that we always talk about that's really important to utilize in this because 
when you are just allowing for a strategy, I have never in my life ever found anybody else's strategy or strategy that we've written that runs perfectly across every sin single instrument. You want to have some overlay on that, okay? So when we look at this, there's basically some training that we do and that we have. Uh, we have a, a four-hour course on this whole concept that anybody that signs up for an indicator paying indicator these are $149 per month for this suite of indicators. Uh, basically, we'll give you that four-hour training that's online that you can do on your own to understand the whole market element. But we also have the training that we do each and every Friday. Basically, the human element involved in this is all about understanding the look left process. And in this kind of scenario right here, we see this just blankness. There's really nothing. I mean, there's nothing going on in the background here, right? So looking left, every time we got above a point, it was pretty much just an, a ramp because we don't have any resistance. You want to look for things like consolidating very thin marks at the bottom of the screen I'm showing here, these thin altimeters. They're getting wider, they're getting wider, they're getting wider, they're getting wider. These are areas that you want to look for a launch off of where we find these levels, number one. Number two, we use a lot of things that are pretty easy to look at is, you know, just drawing some lines on there. We see that multiple components matched across. We see that there's a high volume node here that crossed. We see that there was a line here, couldn't get above for a while. Once you got above here, there was the opportunity to, to, to really see a ramp and there's really no stopping it right now. You could probably look at that on a variety of other symbols on here, um, maybe TLT. Yeah, here's a good example. So TLT, what this shows us on TLT is we had some very significant amount of consolidation in this zone, even though there's, forget about the signals right now for this, but what we see from the human element here is that we saw from June through mid-August, gigantic consolidation. We saw this big ramp, nothing to the left. And when we looked left, when we had the opportunity to look left, what we had was there was really nothing here. We're looking this way. We're just looking this way. We're looking this way. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Even if we probably move the chart back, this is nothing there. So now when we look at this and I kind of put my up and down keys and I, and I look at this, what we have is that the next launch above the area that I am going to draw again here because I got rid of it. So when we look at this, this, this consolidation zone right here, well, where do we go from there? Well, there's really not much that's preventing us from moving higher. So we get this opportunity to move up and we're not really feeling any problems with this because there is nothing resisting in this whole element. And when we see it jump off a consolidation that is this long, it, it's like a springboard. It's like a coiled spring that moves up. So um, you can use, use this on any product. It's, there's a whole list of things on here. There's, there's whatever you want to use this on. You could use this on... Uh, I don't know, pick what you want. This is the, uh, the VIX if you want to use that, which is probably a terrible thing to look at. Um, you could use it on stocks. You could use it on, uh, on, on, on options. To, well, to a degree, I like to use the, the base stock to begin with. You could use this on futures. You could use this on currency. Pick your poison, whatever you want to do. I mean, it does, so here's futures. Here's a ETF, ETF, futures. Uh, you could use it on EURUSD. You can use it on currencies, great call on a short today on the 30 minutes. So it's available to use on anything that you want. Uh, we preload it with a few when, when you get it. So basically, like I said, you can go over to the trading app store and you grab this. We only have a, a limited amount of time today, but basically uh, we can stop answering any questions you have. And James, if you want to pick up at this point, I want sure. to thank everybody for, for joining me today. Like I said, Friday mornings, go to triggercharts.com, sign up for the webinars. Uh, every Friday morning, we go through a quick half hour of what's hot, what's happening, and uh, then give you some ideas, talk about your stocks and all. So thanks so much for everybody joining me today. Thanks, James, for having me. Thanks, Andrew. We really appreciate you being with the Trading App Store Showcase today. Um, we're just, it's awesome to always hear when you give your presentation. You do a great job, very knowledgeable of the markets and of how your tools, tools work. Um, very excited about... Uh, uh, having you as a partner with us. I encourage anybody that's listening today to go to triggercharts.com, listen to some of Andrew's presentation, go into the trading app store, and uh, you can either uh, look at his products out there, do the, the test run to see that. Uh, he's always available through his website to answer questions and to bring in more knowledge and understanding of how trigger charts work. Uh, this presentation will be available on YouTube.